I want to say is I want to do a call out to our latest partner, Riptite Zip Ties, and why I do that is because that's how you represent your sponsors. What I want to share with you today is not a complete how-to, but kind of our journey, Team Chaos's journey. I want to share it with you, so hopefully you guys can take some of the resources that I give and follow up with uh, reading some of the books that I have and take to heart kind of what I'm giving you as some, some fine points. As, as Charles would do, I don't know if he's still here, uh, I'm gonna break out my bifocals and uh, <laughs> go through some of the information I have for you. Um, again, we have Joe, he's recording. That will be up online. I will put my resources up online for you so you don't need to write anything down right now. The first two things are books that I highly recommend. The first book is Motorsports Marketing Sponsorships, How to Raise Money to Race and Give Sponsors What They Really Want. It's by Alex Striller. It's less than $5 on Amazon if you have Amazon Prime. That is the key book out there. Very well done. A lot of the pointers that I would get were our snippets from his book. The second one is Sponsorship Amateur Motorsports. Sponsorship Advice Proven to Work by Jeffrey Pazzo. It's actually free for download to your Kindle device if you have Amazon Prime. Some of the things that he say may contradict what Alex says. I would go off of what Alex says. <clears throat> so the first question that everybody asks me is, what do sponsors expect from you? Okay. And this is always different and will be different for each sponsor and different for you. What I can tell you is if you go in and you try to sell a sponsor or a marketing partner or a partner of some sort a sticker on your car, a sticker on your suit, a sticker on your helmet, guess what? They probably won't even look at you. Okay? You gotta have a story. You gotta be able to tell a story. They are looking for much more. It's expected that you will run their decals because that's how you represent sponsors. So, you gotta come up with a little bit more information, a little bit better story for them. So essentially you are brand advocates once you find those sponsors and once you make a deal. How you make the deal, I'll cover in just a little bit. My recommendation though is when you are talking to sponsors or you're looking to get represented, talk to their marketing folks, understand what their marketing scheme or what their marketing plan is and how you can fit into it, right? It's all about a niche. If I take Team Chaos, our niche is we're husband and wife team. She's the number one driver in the nation that's female. Okay, that's a little bit of a niche that tells the story. You need to find what works for you. In Tony's case with Castaway Crawlers, he's an ex-Marine. Oh, no, 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 former. Former. Former, former Marine. Never, never Once a never Marine, always, always a Marine. Marine. Right. Thank you, sir. Uh, so. What that means to him is he can say, I have military experience, I have association with all my colleagues in the Marines, and here's a market that I can help with and bring your products into, right? So that's a niche. You guys gotta kinda find that, what works for you scenario. Marketing partners and sponsorships, um, and I'll get to the difference and the nuances of what those are in just a minute. They're looking for you to evangelize their product. I started off with this little speech and I said, Rip Tight Zip Ties, one of our newest sponsors. Right? Looking for you to get the names out there. Looking for you when you're talking with people, tell them the story about 
this product, right? It's easy for me and Laurie to represent certain products because we believe in them, right? We don't go looking for products just to represent just because we race. If I don't use the product, you're not going to find it on my car. As simple as that, I have to believe in it. And that makes it that much easier to tell the story. So as you start talking with these folks, it's really about return on investment. You got to be able to give them something in return. And you have to find out what that is. And that will be different per sponsor, depending on what they give you, right? So that leads into how do you represent yourself? There's resumes, racing resumes, there's decks, there's proposals, there's portfolios. Each one's a little different. Each one's used a little different. The books will tell you when and how to use them and how to re represent yourself to get yourself in the door. The decks aren't usually used until you have some sort of meeting with a sponsor and that's a little different of a scenario. What I'm going to cover just briefly is the racing resumes. So when I create a racing resume, I have someone smarter than me review it for grammar, for spelling check, and she's over there. <laughs> so don't feel that you have to do it all yourself. If there's somebody who's got a way to do it, I'm available to look at anything you want to. She's available to help you out if you want second eyes on it. More than glad to help you guys out. Some of the high level stuff that I would put in there is a goal statement. What are you looking to do in this next season? Very important to show initiative and show your partners, this is what I'm going to obtain and this is why you need to buy in. Along with that, you're gonna have your achievements, all your placings, all the events, and everything that you go to. All your social media outlets, huge. <coughs> Everybody wants to be an influencer on social media and that's another key that your partner's gonna be looking for is your following and how it supports you. Your websites, your any of your publicity that you have, if you're in magazines, we have several articles in Four Low, for all magazines, so on and so forth. Very important to see. Any TV. So Thank you. The other thing I would put in there is absolutely pictures of your cars, pictures of you guys on the podium, very important to see, and specs of the cars. People want to see how good your car is. So let's talk a little bit about landing a deal. This is where the differentiation, the sponsorship, marketing partners, contingency programs, if you haven't heard about those, Maxis used to have a big one. Maxis no longer has that. For 2020, they dropped it. So landing that deal and what you want from the company versus what they get is something you have to decide. I word it this way. How much are you willing to sell your soul, right? How much do you want your sponsors to dictate what you do and dictate what your car looks like? Alan already has the answer for him. He doesn't need any. He dictates everything, right, Alan? Yeah. So I also will not compromise on our team logo on top of our cars. I have sponsors going, I want that position. I go, no, that's ours, right? Logos on the side of the car. I do not move my logos on the side of the car. You'll see the Flying Tiger. Do not move those. Do I color my cars from my major sponsors? Yes, I do. As you can see, my cars are orange this year for a major tire brand out there. We have switched from another tire brand, right? I'll just say that our current tire brand makes those other tires. We'll just say that. <coughs> oh, 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 ouch. Where are they at? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, as you start to look at, do you want a sponsor? A sponsor is going to ask more and give more. A sponsor can give you tires, they can give you product, they can do this, they can do that. They're going to ask for more. Folks like Falcon out there have been known to give racers $10,000 to go, give them all the tires they need, and guess what? Your car looks like Falcon. Okay, so the more they give, the more they want, right? When you look at partners, partners, 
there's terms out there like affiliate partners, so on and so forth. Affiliate partners is someone you associate with. I associate myself now with Zip Tight Zip Ties, which is Cretan King. He used to be a fellow competitor, also ran Maxis, intelligent guy, helped develop those tires. And now he created these zip ties that have a nice rubber coating on them so it doesn't break into your wires and slip down your tubes. It's a really cool product, right? So I'm affiliating myself with him. I don't get free product. I have a nice little code that I give people to say, hey, you're gonna get free shipping for that. Go buy these things, they're really cool, right? And then in turn, as I sell product for him, he gives me a kickback and stuff, right? So that's an affiliation, right? Other sponsors may do something like that, or they may just off the top go, you'll get X amount off, right? Certain sponsors will give you 25, certain ones will give you 50, so it all depends, right, what you negotiate with them. So, key point there is, how much are you willing to sell your soul? How much do you want to give them? How much do you want to evangelize them? And promote them as your marketing partners. The difference between the marketing partner and a sponsor, again, a sponsor is a full ride on something. The marketing partner, you help them market their products and you use their products. So the last thing I'm going to talk about is some of you go, you know what, I don't have any use for making portfolios, talking with these folks, I'm shy, I'm intrinsic, you know, an introvert, if you want to say. I don't want to meet these partners and I don't really deal with them. So there's this app called Hook It. You run on your mobile phone, you run on the web page, and what it is, is you sign up, you make a profile, you create pictures, it's all online, it's all AI driven. And what it's looking for essentially is commitment, performance, and reach. Commitment, your years of experience, very important to put in there willing race events distance to events so your app i got here i kicked on my app and i said i'm willing here so it takes the distance i travel as part of the commitment your reach is all your social media aspects you will link your social media to your hook it app which means they will see certain posts that you do they will see your followers and what your reach is right and what eventually happens in those three criteria is they are scoring you the higher your score, the better deals you can obtain. But it's a very simple thing to do, right? You're not even discussing anything with anybody, right? And within the little GUI, you can go, okay, who's the sponsors? You will see on our cars, GoPro, Modal, Spy, Pit Posse Motorsports, Leap Protectives, Rhino Power, OGO, all from Hook It. All partners, they give a certain percentage off. I run decals on the car just out of respect. Some will guard, some say they want that. Modal is, is one, you'll have Modal, Lucas, uh, a couple other oil companies out there. Watch those guys, watch those guys. They will wanna dictate your stickers placement and what you do. Also, if you're interested in the hook it, when you start looking at the companies and you get a deal, is it a deal? Look at it closely. Modal or Lucas, they will go X percent off. Okay, what can I get it from Summit Race and what can I get it from another outlet? And compare if you're actually getting a deal. Because they may say percentage off of retail, not percentage of what is being sold. Right? You may just find out you can get it cheaper by buying it directly, right? So do you want to put an effort into a company like that? That's up to you, right? You may need it as a sponsorship or a marketing partner to build other marketing partners. So you gotta play the game. The other thing on Hook It is you can buy a premium thing, it boosts your score, it boosts you know how much you show up into the feeds of these partners. Do you need it? Not really. Maybe up front if you're just creating it, maybe you wanna do that to get a little bit more AI boost but you don't need to do that as long as you're putting your willing even if you're out practicing put it in there as a session competition sessions right it'll build the score our score i think is about 2100 right now average scores are about four or five hundred you just continue to boost those scores as you boost those scores your deals will improve you will get higher percentages off 
So again, that's hookit.com and all this information I will put up there. Um, any questions, comments, or anybody want to share any of their journey that they've had getting sponsored?